Ms. Edita. Welcome to the Sustainable World Conclave 2024. So I have a few questions for you, shall we? With more consumers demanding sustainable products, how can businesses adjust to meet those expectations? Oh, uh, they just have to deal with this. I, th I don't think that in 21st century we have a choice uh, to be the brand which is trustful and to have customers coming back to us, it's a must. Uh, there is no way to run away from it. It's about how to manage it from the financial perspective because sustainability today is more expensive than being non-sustainable. Uh, but I think the serious brands who believe seriously about the future, they have to find a way. True, true that. So how do you see consumer behavior influencing industries to adopt more sustainable practices? And how can companies use this shift to drive change? Very good question and important question. Uh, the customers can push the industries by improving their own knowledge about sustainability. Because I think where we still struggle is awareness of how important sustainability is. The world is talking about increasing temperature, but it's not talking about how chemicals, which we use to wash our hair, are influencing the quality of water, right? So first of all, it's about education, education of communities, education of consumer. And then these are difficult choices because usually cheap products are cheap because they, the, the ways they were manufactured uh, was not always sustainable. It was just about decision which direction you, the manufacturer goes. Uh, sustainable products, which, which means more technological, more uh, expensive or cheaper. So it's the consumer decision. Is he going to support the, the brands and the companies which are going for cheap solutions, risky for the health and for the planet, or will stretch and will pay a bit more for good future of our kids. Well said, well said. So as green consumerism grows, how can brands communicate their sustainability efforts without falling into the trap of greenwashing? Uh, probably nobody answered well this question <laughs> till now because it's a very difficult uh, task which is standing ahead of um, the companies being real and being really what you say you are yeah. is difficult, especially when you work in the in the businesses which are difficult to manage uh, from this perspective. But I believe that sustainability is such a wide uh, spectrum that you can find everywhere and always a way to improve it. Uh, I'm talking about suppliers. I'm talking about work ethics. I'm talking about um, uh, ingredients in case of, you, you don't have to be completely sustainable to be successful, but I think it's about showing the intention to change and do better. It's a gradual process. So uh, one last question I'll ask you. What is the sim similarity between Sweden and India in terms of sustainability? What is your outlook on this? First of all, we both love nature and we have a huge respect to nature, to natural ingredients. Your Ayurveda is something just amazing. Sweden is also the place where people still hug trees because they believe in, in energy which is there. And I think we have so much to win. Sweden started the, the journey years before. Today it's in the top, like our company, in the top uh, uh, leading markets from the sustainability perspective. India has also a lot to win. As a country, you are number three uh, non-sustainable or um, from the emission of the uh, carbon uh, CO2, you are number three. But per inhabitant, you are not number two or three so you still have um, I think we, yes just to one sentence you have a lot to win the same Sweden had a lot to win and health of your children uh, success of uh, entrepreneurs who are dealing with this it's also everything is to to be win in the future well put, ma'am. Well put. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for your time.